If you could be anyone in history, mm. who do you think you would be? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah. Hmm. So, I mean, I haven't really thought about it, but I don't know. I think maybe Amelia Earhart. Mm. For me, you know, she was the first woman pilot. Yeah. I really love to feel the wind underneath my wings if I could. Yeah. I mean, I've never flown a plane, but I think that would be amazing. Yeah, that sounds incredible. I mean, you know, a woman and... A pilot. It, yeah, wow. Mm. Who would I be? Uh, I would be... Okay, I got it. I would be any man in any time in history where marital was legal. So let's say a man in, I don't know, Victorian England. I disapprove. I'm not saying I would do that now. I'm not saying I would want to do that now. I'm saying I would want to be alive at a point in time where that was um, looked upon as a good thing. But do you, do you know what I mean? You know what I mean though, right? I, I, there's, no, there's no way I would do anything like that now. Right. I'm just saying, it, at a point in the past, if I were alive back then, I think that would be sort of, I don't know, elegant. Is There's a tradition to it, there's a pageantry to it, there's a savoir-faire to it. There, uh, you know, it's very traditional. We're going to make love right now. And if you don't agree with me, right? What I'm saying, I'm just saying, close your eyes, imagine this, okay? London, 1780. There's horse carriages, the clop, 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 clop of, ho of you know, horse hooves, uh, you know, on the cobblestone, okay? You've got, hello, mister, there's a prisoner for you, it's a paper, pa it's been a murder in the paper, Jack the Ripper strikes again. It's like a, every little girl's fantasy. It's like a movie cinema experience, you know? I'm not saying I would do that now. I'm saying that if I were living in a more elegant, civilized, refined time, then it would be something that I would enjoy partaking of. It's something that I would enjoy very much. I'm not saying I would want to do it now. I'm saying I would enjoy it so much so that it would make it worth it to me to go live in that time. You see what I'm saying? You see what I mean? It was just a part of day-to-day -day life. This was not considered some sort of illegal, heinous, evil act like it is today. I consider myself to be a feminist. I consider myself to be a 2,000 plus year man, two th year 2,000 plus. So all the good stuff, none of the bad stuff, um, yeah, that or, you know, I always thought to myself, I always thought about Paris, France. Oh, I love wine. I took this trip to the south of France. Yeah, I think wine's for pussies. It's beautiful. I always thought about France, and I always thought about France during the Nazi occupation. I really don't like Adolf Hitler. Yeah, me neither. And I disapprove of what he did. I would love to be in probably probably Nazi occupied Paris, France. Again, hear me out on this one because I think I would have made a very good soldier probably. I would imagine. I think I think I would have I often think I did good in high school sports. I think I would have been one of Hitler's top soldiers. Yeah, um, my ancestors were in Auschwitz. Well, see, I probably would have protected them somehow. I probably would have went back and protected them. I would go so far as to say that your ancestors in Auschwitz probably don't even disapprove of Hitler and what he did as much as I did. My point is that I would have been probably some sort of elite shock troop, you know, probably some sort of special forces, Hitler special forces, right? Like, okay, here's the thing. No matter how much you disapprove of the guy, no matter how much you dislike him, which I do, you have to be aware of, you have to admit to yourself that having someone with that level of cachet, 
And that level of swagger, that level of panache, that level of je ne sais quoi, that level of savoir faire, that level of, you know, that level of um, X factor, we call it in the sales business. Having the eye of someone like that on you, and you know, he, you're his top guy, that's crazy. That's crazy. I, hey, you know what? I wish that they would t time travel back to when, before he was born, and take him out then. That's what I wish happened. But, <clears throat> look, notorious figures throughout history, Dracula, right? Count Chocula. You got all the bad guys in history. You got the whole lineup. Frankenstein. What if Frankenstein was looking at you, saying that, hey, you are my go-to guy. You're my guy that I go to when I need a problem solved. What if Hitler was saying that to you? Can you imagine that for a second? What if Adolf Hitler said that you're such a physical beast, dude. You're such a physical, nasty beast, dude. You're such a nasty physical beast right now, bro, that I'm basically going to make you in charge of a platoon of panzers, okay? You're basically so hulked up and shredded that I have no choice but to make you a legend in Nazi Germany. I would say to myself, man, this Hitler guy is up to no good. I hate this. I can't take any more of this. I don't know what I'm going to do. What am I going to do? Hitler's, I'm Hitler's top guy. What am I going to do? Adolf Hitler chose me to lead the revolution. I'm an alpha male, okay? All right. I can, I dominate a lot of people daily, the people I work with. I dominate them, okay? I absolutely dominate the people at my office. I dominate them with my physical presence, with my smell, my pheromones, the way I talk, my eye contact, my hand motions, my body language. I dominate daily, on a daily basis. Even the women, I dominate them. I dominate the women in my workplace, okay? I use a combination of lies, manipulation, cheating, stealing, gaslighting, bullying, insulting, and flexing to make sure that everybody at my office stays under my thumb where I want them. You cannot say no to somebody in that position like Hitler or like Alexander the Great if you want someone that's less, you know, did less bad things. Wow. If Alexander the Great tells you his, you're his top guy, you're his top guy. You're, the, you're, you're now in a position where you have no choice but to go, oh, I'm Alexander the Great's top guy, dude. Even if Tom Cruise was Jewish and he had ancestors in Auschwitz and you were injecting him with testosterone and gorilla steroids to make him the most alpha male possible, if Adolf Hitler locked in his attention beams on Tom Cruise and said, said Tom, you're now my top guy, there's no way to resist that. Whoa. Adolf Hitler needs me? Okay, I'll do it. I'm going to bat for you, Hitler. I got your back, Hitler. Okay? That's my point. That's my point. And I say that with the most respect for your ancestors and for what happened, and the most disdain for Hitler and what he did. I'm finding this very upsetting, to be honest. <laughs>